Installation and Operation Guides for C406 Pro GPS Bike Computer Unpacking C406 Pro GPS Bike Computer Standard Accessories include Bike Computer Aerodynamic Extension Bracket Silicone Sleeve Charging Cable Lanyard and a Manual Installation of the Aerodynamic Extension Bracket C406 Pro is accompanied by a Bike Computer Extension Bracket which is suitable for handlebars with a caliber of 31.8 mm. Please choose a suitable position to install it and make sure that the bike computer screen is facing up after installation so as to get accurate GPS signal and avoid affecting the riding experience. Put the rubber pad in bayonet where the bike computer extension bracket is in contact with the handlebar, and then open the bayonet and install it on the handlebar. Put the screws in the package into the screw hole at the position of bayonet, and then use a 3mm hexagonal wrench to properly tighten the screws to make sure that the bike computer extension bracket is installed firmly enough. Excessive tightening of the screws may cause the bracket to break. Align the back of the bike computer with the bracket slot, gently place the bike computer on the bike computer mount and rotate clockwise until it is locked. Installation completed. Buttons and their functions. C406 Pro has three buttons A, B and C whose common functions are as follows. Button A. Press and hold to power on, off the bike computer, click to start, pause and resume writing and confirm to perform actions. Button B. Press and hold to end writing, click to turn pages and perform next action. Button C. Press and hold to turn on, off backlight, click to count laps and return. Activation slash pairing of the bike computer. To ensure the accuracy of cycling data and the stability of cycling record transmission. Before using the C406 Pro, it is necessary to connect the bike computer to the one lap fit app to activate the bike computer and complete the pairing. For iOS devices, search for the one lap fit app in Apple Store for installation. For Android devices, search for the one lap fit app in Google Play for installation. You can also scan the QR code on the manual to download and install app. After installing the one lap fit app, just open the app and complete the registration via email and verification code or login directly. Press and hold button A in the lower left corner of the bike computer to turn on it and keep it this state. Open the OneLap Fit app, search for My, My Bike Computer, search and connect to Bike Computer, and enter the activation process after connection. Enter your email address and the obtained verification code, agree to the geographical location authorization, and click Activate to complete the activation. After successful activation, the bike computer will prompt to pair with the OneLap Fit app, the app will prompt you to enter the pairing key, and you need to enter the pairing key displayed on the bike computer screen then, after entering the correct key, the pairing is successful. After pairing, you can set the functions of the bike computer via the OneLap Fit app. After using the bike computer every time, you can open the app to automatically connect the paired bike computer and upload the latest riding data to the OneLap Fit platform. You can also view more detailed riding data analysis in the OneLap Fit app, or share the data with other platforms. Configurations Pages Settings Here you can set data and data items. Click the Scheme drop-down button at the top of the screen to choose a preset or custom scheme. The preset schemes provide you with common data screen layout schemes based on your sensor usage. You can also customize a scheme or make modifications on the basis of a preset scheme. In the Scheme Editing status, you can set the data items of this screen by clicking them, set the data items of other data screens by sliding. Or edit the screen by clicking the Add Screen, Delete, Sort buttons in the upper right corner. After you finish editing a scheme, please click Save and Apply to Bike Computer, so you can view the screen scheme on the bike computer. Peripheral Connection C406 Pro can be connected and bound to several types of sensors like speed, cadence, heart rate, power meter, trainer, radar tail light, and electronic shifter. In addition to ANT Plus protocol, C406 Pro also supports Bluetooth protocol peripherals. C406 Pro can remember multiple sensor peripherals of the same type, 
and the remembered sensors will try to automatically connect when C406 Pro is turned on, making it more convenient for you to use the bike computer when you have multiple bicycles or sensors. C406 Pro supports the configuration of peripherals on both the bike computer and the OneLap Fit app. You can configure the sensors on either of them based on your own preferences. On the peripheral connection page of OneLap Fit app, you can search sensors by clicking Search Device and select the sensor you want to remember to finish the binding connection. In the list of the remembered devices, click the icon on the right to enter the details screen of a sensor. You can view the real-time data of the sensor, set a note name for the sensor, and complete the calibration of the power meter. On the C406 Pro, click the button C on the top to enter the settings screen, select the sensor option, select add sensor, and put the bike computer close to the sensor for searching and binding. Sensors bound to the bike computer will be shown in the settings sensors list. If the sensors are connected successfully, connected will be shown in the list. Select a sensor, and you can go to the sensor details screen to forget the sensor. Besides, you can check the status of the icon corresponding to a remembered sensor on the home screen of the bike computer to judge the sensor connection status, for the sensor remembered by the bike computer, the corresponding sensor icon on the home screen will light up and flash, when the bike computer is connected to the sensor, the corresponding icon will remain lit. Example, when C406 Pro remembers a heart rate sensor, the heart rate sensor icon on the bike computer screen will flash, and the bike computer will automatically try to connect to this sensor. Once connected, the heart rate sensor icon will remain lit. Go to the riding data display screen of the bike computer, and if the heart rate data item is set on the screen, the real-time heart rate data will be shown then. Functions. Here you can complete the setting of basic functions of C406 Pro. Complete common setting items in settings, or configure various functions in one lap fit app, my bike computer, bike computer settings, functions. Altitude calibration, C406 Pro provides altitude calibration function. You can connect the bike computer through the OneLap Fit app, and send the altitude obtained on the app or the manually entered accurate altitude value to the bike computer for calibration when the bike computer is positioned. Auto backlight, you can turn on, off the automatic backlight in the app or the bike computer. After you correctly set the time zone and turn on the auto backlight, the bike computer will automatically turn on, off the backlight according to the sunrise and sunset time acquired by GPS, manual backlight, you can set the manual backlight time in the app or the bike computer. For example, if you set 5 seconds, the backlight will turn off 5 seconds after being turned on manually. Auto lap counting, you can turn on automatic lap counting mode in the app. After turning on, the bike computer will automatically count laps according to the preset lap counting conditions. If automatic lap counting is turned off, you can manually count laps by clicking on the top button while riding. At automatic lap counting mode, laps can be counted at a fixed time or a fixed distance. Automatic shutdown, in non-sport status, C406 Pro can turn itself off after a long period of no actions depending on the auto power off time you set to save energy. Auto pause, C406 Pro can be set to auto pause. It will auto pause when the bike computer reading is lower than the set speed to pause the workout timer. So you can count your workout statistics more accurately as needed. Function prompt tone, keypad ton, you can turn on, off the function prompt tone, keypad ton of C406 Pro via the app or in the functions of the bike computer. Estimated power, when the estimated power is on, the bike computer will calculate and display the estimated power. When the estimated power is off, the bike computer can display the estimated power only when the power-related device is connected. Start prompt, the start prompt function will prompt you that the workout log has started after the bike computer finishes GPS positioning and detects workout moves. Heart rate warning slash power warning, C406 Pro has a heart rate warning function. Once your heart rate reaches the preset warning value, the bike computer will sound a beep to remind you that your exercise intensity has reached the pre-warning value. Preferences. You can set the time format, language, and display preferences of bike computer in one lap fit app, bike computer settings, preferences. The time format can be 12 hour clock or 24 hour clock, and you can set it according to your habit and synchronize this configuration information by connecting to the bike computer. You also can connect to the bike computer through the app to change its current language configuration. The display effect refers to the menu prompt at the bottom of the bike computer. 
When it is off, you can get more space for data display. When it is on, each action will be more explicit. You can choose to turn it on or off depending on your usage habits. Message notification. You can set the message notification on or off on the bike computer or in one lap fit app, bike computer settings, message notification, and you can also set the message notification details through the app as needed, such as the on off mode of phone calls and SMS messages. When the message notification is on, the corresponding messages will be received and displayed on the bike computer as long as you take a mobile phone and turn on the Bluetooth, incoming call messages, if the call is from a friend in the address book, the name of the friend can be displayed directly, if the call is from an unknown person, the phone number will be displayed, other messages, the bike computer will display the source, sender and content, for example, when receiving an email message, it will show where it originated, who sent it and what the message is about. Course Training C406 Pro GPS supports the connection to trainers for indoor course training. You can create a training and import it into the bike computer through the OneLap Fit app before using the bike computer for course training. You can select course training in OneLap Fit app, My Bike Computer, Bike Computer Settings, and click New Training to set up the training requirements for each interval, confirm the number of intervals as needed, and save the training and import it into the bike computer for use. When using the bike computer for training, the first screen displays the training-related information by default, and its bottom shows the exercise intensity waveform where you can see the overall intensity distribution of the training. There will be an interval countdown prompt when each interval has 4 seconds left to prompt the target power and cadence, so that you can be ready for the next interval. Personal Profile one Lap Fit is a professional bike training app, entering your correct personal data in the profile setting screen can help you count your workout statistics more accurately. In the personal profile screen, in addition to basic data such as birth date of birth and height, you can set all types of other personal and device data like weight, FTP, max heart rate, and LTHR. To help you better understand these data, there are detailed instructions in related screens. Bike computer positioning. Please turn the bike computer on and wait for positioning in an open outdoor area, with no tall buildings, no trees, and viaduct. The positioning icon in the upper left corner of the screen will flash when the bike computer is positioning, and the icon will steady on after successful positioning. Start riding. C406 Pro GPS will display outdoor riding screen by default after booting. You can click button A at the lower left corner after successful positioning in an open outdoor area or click button A directly to enter the outdoor riding screen. Click button C to go back from the outdoor riding screen to the home screen. Click button A to start recording riding data and a pop-up window will tell. Ride started, the window will close in 3 seconds. During the ride, you can click button B in the lower right corner to switch data screen. Click button A to pause riding log manually and click it again to continue. Click button C to count laps manually. Press and hold the top button to turn on or off the backlight manually, regardless of the bike computer status as long as it is powered on. You can also press and hold button B to end riding and enter the riding data screen to view the overall data of this ride. C406 Pro GPS supports route navigation. You can click navigation in one lap to set the road book, select your starting point, passing point and ending point, and import the bike computer after completing the design. Double-click the C key at the top of the computer to switch the riding mode to the roadbook mode, and click the A key in the lower left corner to enter and start riding. Free Training C406 Pro GPS supports the connection to trainers for indoor training in three training modes of target power, resistance level, and slope level. The bike computer will display outdoor riding screen by default after booting. You can double-click button C to switch to the free training mode, in which the target power mode is preset by default, just click button B to switch to the desired mode. After confirming the mode, the intensity adjustment screen will appear. In the target power and resistance level mode, you can click button plus 10% in the lower left corner or button minus 1% in the lower right corner. In the slope level mode, you can click button plus 1% in the lower left corner or button minus 0.1% in the lower right corner. The target power mode allows an adjustment range from 40%, 150% FTP, and the resistance level mode allows an adjustment range from 0% to 100%. The slope level mode allows the adjustment range from 0.0% to 20.0%, Click OK to start writing after the intensity adjustment. 
These three modes can be adjusted in intensity but cannot be switched during the ride. Viewing, synchronization and sharing of riding logs. When you finish riding, press and hold the lower right button of the bike computer to end and save the riding log. Open the OneLap Fit app and it will automatically search and connect to the bike computer and upload the riding log to the app. After synchronization of riding logs, you can view your workout details and data log or share. Download current riding log by clicking the top right corner. App Authorization OneLap Fit provides easy third-party data distribution services. Currently supporting Strava and TrainingPeaks account binding and distribution functions. You can bind your Strava and TrainingPeaks accounts in the app authorization screen and data will be automatically distributed to your Strava and TrainingPeaks accounts after C406 Pro data is synchronized with OneLapFit.